Today, we're doing a Boxy Boo build challenge. But I'm secretly gonna use Hacks to troll my friend. Using the command slash slash paste, I can instantly spawn in this massive Boxy Boo. And little does my friend know, I'm gonna fill up the entire thing with traps to troll him. So now, let's go check on my friend Bubbles. And Bubbles, what in the world are you doing? I'm mining. But Bubbles, you can't mine Bedrock. I can't mine Bedrock? Well, what about now? What the heck? Gee, what are we gonna be doing today? We're doing a Boxy Boo build challenge. I love Boxy Boo. No, I love Boxy Boo. Well, which side do you want to build on? The green or the blue side? Well, obviously, I'm gonna go in the blue side. The blue side? You better get out of here! Yo, Jeez. yo! Okay, I guess I'll go in the green side. And the blue side is mine. We have 10 minutes to do this Boxy Boo build challenge. All right, now Bubbles can't hear me. This is actually perfect. I'm gonna type in the command. And oh my goodness, look at her Boxy Boo. We're so ahead of Bubbles. But now, I'm gonna fill up the entire Boxy Boo with a ton of traps. Starting off with the fake entrance. Hmm, where should I put it? Wait, I have a perfect idea. We're gonna put the fake entrance right inside of his mouth. First off, we're gonna place down a ton of diamond blocks with the diamond trap door in the middle. Diamond is Bubbles' favorite block, so hopefully this will lure him inside of our fake entrance. Now, we'll finish up the walls, then place a pressure plate down right in front of the entrance. This pressure plate is gonna lead to a dispenser with a ton of poisonous water inside. All we have to do is add the dispenser with the water. So now, if we step on this pressure plate, check this out. A ton of poisonous water just spawned in, and I already died. This is definitely enough to get bubbles. I can't wait to see his reaction. But now that the fake entrance is done, we're gonna have to start building the real entrance. Hmm, where should I build it? Wait a second. I'm gonna put it at the side of his massive box. If we dig in a few blocks just like this, oh my goodness, we're literally right inside a boxy boo. We're gonna fill up this entire box with traps. But before we do that, I wanna spy on bubbles. We're gonna fly over to this wall real quick and then break in a few blocks just like this. Oh my goodness, I hope bubbles doesn't see me. And there we go. The boxy boo is completed. This looks so good. Wait, what the heck is this? Is this actually his boxy boo? This is great. Yo, dinosaur, what do you think of my build? It's good. I know it's so good, isn't it? Where in the world did he get dinosaurs from? But little does GE know, I'm gonna be booby trapping this entire thing with a secret treasure at the end. And we only have eight minutes left, so it's all going to plan. Wait, we only have eight minutes left? Okay, I gotta get back to my build. Let me build up this wall real quick, and there we go. Luckily, we have a huge head start on bubbles, but we still have to fill out this entire thing with a bunch of traps. First off, we're gonna place down some camouflage doors on the side of his box. And now that we're inside, we're gonna have to hollow out this entire box so we can build our traps. I'm sorry, Boxy Boo, I have to do this. All right, almost done, and there we go. Now that our Boxy Boo is hollowed out, we're gonna start off with our first challenge, a lava maze. We'll start off by making a giant gold platform and create the outline to our maze. We'll break out some blocks for our outline and definitely be sure to put in some dead ends. And now for the fun part, we're gonna fill up our maze with a ton of lava. One wrong move and Bubbles is dead. Oh my goodness, this is actually great. Now that all the lava's filled in, we're gonna have to put an exit, and I'm gonna put it right here, right behind this password-protected door. This door leads us to the next section, but if Bubbles wants to make it there, he's gonna have to find the code. And I'm gonna put the code right over here, but if Bubbles wants to make it there, he's gonna have to fight a super dangerous monster. We'll place a pressure plate right here, and then add some redstone connecting to our dispenser. And inside of our dispenser, we're gonna place down a Hydra Snake. So as soon as we step on our pressure plate, Oh my goodness, look at this. This snake is super deadly, but if Bubbles somehow manages to defeat it, he can get the code that's right inside of this paper. And this snake might be a bit hard to defeat, so we'll place down a chest with an emerald sword inside to help him. After Bubbles gets this code, he can move on to the next section, and I have the perfect idea for this. First off, we're gonna make a little staircase, and then create a tunnel with commands. Now that our tunnel's complete, we're gonna divide it up into four sections, because we're gonna make a water dropper. We'll fill up this section with some acid, this section with fake water, this section with some water with glass on top, and then finally the real water. Bubbles is gonna have to choose the right water if he wants to move on, but we're gonna make this a little bit more difficult. We're gonna place down some spikes that's gonna get in Bubbles' way. So not only does he have to choose the right water, but he's gonna have to dodge all these spikes at the same time. And oh my goodness, this is so dangerous. If you wanna make it past this dropper, then you have to subscribe in three, two, one, let's go. Now that you subscribed, we can move on to the next section. In this one's gonna be pretty dangerous. We're gonna make a jetpack obstacle course. First, we're gonna build our floor and then fill in the bottom with a ton of lava. Now that all the lava's filled in, we're gonna go right over here and then place down a chest with, of course, our jetpack. If we try putting our jetpack on, look at this. We're going extremely high. And whoa, this thing actually goes really fast too. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to take this off. Now that we know the jetpack works, we're gonna place down some obstacles. So we'll start off by putting down some lasers right here and start putting these all over the
the map. We just have to add one more laser and there we go. Now that all the lasers are filled in, we're gonna put in the fake exit. We'll build the fake exit with some diamond blocks just like this. After we place the doors for a fake exit, we're gonna place down some lava spikes. Just like the spikes from earlier, these lava spikes are super deadly. As soon as you walk on top of them, they start lighting you right on fire. But now that we have the fake exit, we're gonna have to find a place to put the real exit. And we're gonna put it right at the beginning. We'll dig out some blocks like this and then fill it up with some ghost blocks. These might look like normal blocks, but if you try flying through them, you can go straight through. I can't wait to see Bubble's reaction when he realizes he could've just flown straight through these ghost blocks. Now that our ghost blocks are filled in, we can move on to the next section, but before we do that, I wanna troll Bubbles. I secretly placed one way glass in the other side of this wall, so if I go up to the wall right here and then open up these doors, oh my goodness, check this out. We have a secret room connecting to the other side of the wall, and oh my goodness, I think I see Bubbles right there. I'm gonna pretend to be a ghost and troll Bubbles. Oh, Bubbles, can you hear me? What the? What was that? It's me, Bubbles, the ghost inside of your walls. What the heck? A ghost? I'm super scared of ghosts. Don't be scared of the ghost, Bubbles. Be scared of the thing right behind you. Right behind me? What's there? Okay, let me be fast real quick. Let me just get this leg and then cover it up. Wait, what just happened? I hope he didn't see me. I'm gonna go back to my base real quick and then cover this up. Are you serious right now? We only have five minutes. Wait, we only have five minutes left? Okay, I have to be fast. I had no idea we were running out of time, but luckily I have the perfect idea for the next section. This one's gonna be fun, but extremely deadly. Inside this room, we can place down a go-kart for my friend Bubbles to get inside. But there's gonna be a ton of super deadly traps for him to avoid, starting off with these mines. Oh my goodness, if he touches a single one of these, he's completely dead. Now, we'll place down some fences to make sure he doesn't cheat, just like this. There we go. Now that the mines are set down, we're gonna place down some wither skeletons. <laughs> Whoa, look at these things, they're huge! We're gonna place down some iron bars to make sure that they don't escape, because we still have one more trap left, these sanctuary turrets. We'll place them down just just like this. These things are super dangerous and the only way to get rid of them is by breaking the block underneath. So to do this, we'll place a pickaxe down in the secret chest. It blends in perfectly with the other blocks, but if Bubbles finds it, he can move the sanctuaries and move on to the next section. And for this next section, we're gonna place down one slab. You might think this doesn't make any sense, but if we take this shrinking device and look at this, we're extremely tiny. Now that we're tiny, we can move straight through this slab and move on to the next section, tiny parkour. We can place down an ender rod right here and then a slab to keep making our tiny jumps. We'll keep making these jumps for the rest of our tiny parkour. And while we build these jumps, I'm actually curious. Are you Team Alphabet Lore or Team Boxy Boo? Comment down below if you're Team Alphabet Lore or Team Boxy Boo. Let's see who wins. Now that our tiny parkour is complete, it only leaves us with one more section. We'll place down some slabs to make our exit, and then we'll get right to building. And we only have two minutes left, so we have to be fast. In this section, we're gonna build two tunnels, a green tunnel and a blue tunnel. If Bubbles picks the green tunnel, he'll be met with a super secret present. But if he picks the blue tunnel, he'll be falling straight to his death. Starting off with the blue side, I'm gonna dig out a few blocks just like this and fill it up with some ghost blocks. Now, we'll place down a chest for him right at the end, but little does he know, it's completely fake. If Bubbles picks the blue side, he'll be falling straight into a bunch of spikes. This is definitely gonna kill him. But now, we're gonna move on to the green side. We'll place down some chests just like this and then fill it up with a ton of diamonds, Bubbles' favorite block. And just like that, our boxy boo build is complete. So now, we're gonna go in the other other side and check up on Bubbles. Hey Bubbles. Hey GE. Now that time's up, whose Boxy Boo build are we gonna look at first? I think we should look at mine because mine's is super cool. Alright, let's see about that Bubbles. And here is my Boxy Boo. Oh, uh, what in the world is this Bubbles? What do you mean? It's literally Boxy Boo. Doesn't he look so cool? I mean, I guess so, but why do his eyes look like that? Hey, there's nothing wrong with his eyes, GE. Yeah, you're right Bubbles, but wait, what is this? This is the end to my boxy boo. All right, I guess if I try climbing this staircase, I can make it inside. Yep. And wait a second, there's a password on it. Yeah, you'll have to look at this sign and solve this math equation. What is 500 plus 500? Well, I guess this is pretty easy. Obviously, it's 1,000. And there we go. Wait, what the? Ha <laughs> ha, you fell inside my trap. Are those lava spikes at the bottom? Wait a second, how am I supposed to get out? I completely pranked you, GE. Oh my goodness. This is so annoying, Bubbles. And ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, I fell. Burn. No. I can't believe you just fell for my fake entrance, GE. Now you're gonna have to look around and see where the real entrance is. Wait, that was fake? Oh my goodness. But if that was the fake entrance, then where in the world could the real one be? Maybe it's on top of his head? Okay, that doesn't look like it. What about the hand? And 
really, dude? There's nothing there. Bubbles, I can't find this entrance anywhere. Can you please give me a hint? You know what? Since you're having such a hard time, I'll give you a hint, but only if everyone likes and subscribes. If everyone likes and subscribes? Please, guys, I need to find this entrance. So like and subscribe in three, two, one. Thank you so much for subscribing. Now that everyone liked and subscribed, you have to show me the real entrance. All right, it's right over here, GE. Somewhere in the mouth. Oh my goodness, it's in the mouth. You know what? I guess I'll try walking right through and there we go. You just got eaten by Boxy Boo. Ew, that's gross, Bubbles, but I guess I have to answer some questions here. Door A or door B? Hmm, what do I choose? I think you would really like door A, GE. Well, I know your tricks now, Bubbles, so that one has to be fake, so I'm gonna go in door B. Let's go! Okay. And there we go. It's my prize right here. Wait a second. Look behind you. Oh, there's another chest. Wait a second. No! Haha, <laughs> you fell in lava! There's no way I just fell for that, Bubbles. Does that mean door is actually the right door? It very well could be. All right, I guess I'll make it inside. And wait a second. Why is there a ton of buttons? Yep, you're gonna have to try and figure out which button's gonna lead you to the next room. Well, that shouldn't be too hard. I'll try pressing down all these buttons just like this. Come on, come on, come on. And wait a second. Oh, there's a trap door right here. Looks like you found it. Let's go. And I made it inside of this room, but... Wait a second. Bubbles, why is there a mutant zombie? Because you're gonna have to fight this mutant zombie. I'm gonna have to fight the zombie? Well, Bubbles, is there anything I can fight it with? Yep, you're gonna have some items you can use in this chest right here. All right, let me try opening it and wait a second. Bubbles, there's a password. Yeah, there is. You're gonna have to look around the room and try and find out what the password is. Maybe it's in one of these chests. Come on. Oh, it says five right here. Maybe there's one under the lava. Five. And then there's another slab right here. Let me try jumping and opening it. Okay. All right. Second try and five. Wait a second. I'm starting to see a pattern here, Bubbles. Maybe if I just type in five, 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 five. And oh my goodness. Looks like you opened the chest. Shade mail armor and a poison sword. Oh yeah. Now I'm totally ready to fight this thing. Okay, GE, the cage is going to open in three, two, one. Whoa, this zombie does a lot of damage. But luckily, he has no chance against my poison sword. Good luck, GE. Oh my goodness. I'm on half a heart and i already died haha <laughs> you got wrecked come on second try and wait a second i just knocked him down let's go nice you knocked him down but he's gonna get right back up wait a second i didn't know he could do that yep these mutant zombies are super strong maybe just a few more hits will take him come on come on and wait a second did i finally knock him down we'll have to see oh my goodness why is he getting back up again i keep dying so many times but i think this is gonna be it and wait a second let's go I finally took him out. Looks like you finally killed the mutant zombie. Good job, GE. Thanks, Bubbles. And look, he dropped this really cool hammer. Ooh, I'm gonna be keeping it. Now that the zombie's gone, it looks like it opened up this ladder. Cool. Yep, and down you go into the next room. My laser obstacle. But Bubbles, you didn't even set up the lasers correctly. What do you mean? Well, if I jump right on top of the block, look at this. I just skipped past all of the lasers. What the heck? That's cheating. But looks like you're moving on to my next obstacle. My field of landmines. Okay, it looks like there's no cheating past this one. I just have to be really careful. Come on, come on. And wait a second. That was actually really easy. What the heck? How'd you make it through there so fast? And now it just looks like I have to do some parkour. And wait a second. Bubbles, why do you make it out of dirt? What do you mean? Because dirt looks really cool. Look at this brown. Okay, whatever, Bubbles. I'm gonna try making this parkour. But before I do that, I'm gonna dig out a dirt block like this, just in case. What the heck? I never said you could do that, GE. Put it back. Yeah, whatever, Bubbles. I'm just gonna make this first jump right here, and there's a sign that says this way. Maybe you'll try jumping through, and ow, ow, ow! Holy moly, I knew that block was gonna come in handy. What the heck? You didn't even die to the poisonous water that's cheating! Yup, and now I can make it through the rest of this parkour. Come on, come on, make this fence jump, and ow! You just got destroyed! Maybe try two will be the one, and there we go. Now there's just one more fence jump, and nice. You made it past the fences, GE. Now there's just a few more jumps to get to. Come on, come on. And wait a second. I died, but Bubbles, I think I just saw something. What did you see, GE? I don't think this is a real block, Bubbles, because if I try opening it, look at that. An ender pearl. No way. You're so big brain, GE. And now I can use this pearl to get to the other side. Let's go. And now you can go collect your super secret treasure, GE. Super secret treasure? Come on. What's in this chest? And a ton of emeralds. Let's go. It even spells my name. Yay, let's go. And there's even a button here that says press for more emeralds. Let me try pressing it and... 
Really, dude? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you fell for it. Bubbles, now that I checked out your boxy boo, it's time for you to check out mine. Sounds good. Let's go take a look at it. And here it is. What do you think, Bubbles? What the heck? How did you build all of this in 10 minutes? You know me, Bubbles. I'm a building pro. But where's the entrance, GE? This thing is massive. I actually put my entrance right inside of the mouth, just like you, Bubbles. Hey, you copied me, GE. And here it is, Bubbles. Check out the entrance. What kind of entrance is this? How am I supposed to get in? Well, it's right over here in this diamond trap door. Whoa. All right, let me go down. And what is this? Oh my goodness, what is happening? Haha, <laughs> you just fell for the poisonous water, Bubbles. Now that you fell for my fake entrance, Bubbles, you're gonna have to find the real one. There's no way I'm gonna be able to find a real entrance in this massive build. Well, you're gonna have to, Bubbles. Good luck. Wait, let me get something real quick, GE. What are you getting, Bubbles? G, where's the real entrance? Yo, okay, I guess I'll show you, Bubbles. Come on, follow me. Oh, yeah. The real entrance is right over here. Sounds good. Time to go inside. And what in the world is this, GE? Welcome to my lava maze, Bubbles. Oh, no, this looks really dangerous. I'm gonna have to take it slow and steady. And wait, there's a door right here. Yup, but I put a password at the end of it. What in the world? A password protected door? The password's gotta be one, two, three, four. What? That's wrong? No way. GE, what's the password? If you wanna get the password, you're gonna have to defeat the boss inside of this room. A boss? What's it gonna be? Alright, let's see. What is this? I'm gonna use my minigun! And you already died, Bubbles. GE, there's no way I'm gonna be able to kill those. Well, I knew something like this would happen, so take a look inside of this chest. An emerald sword? Ooh, I'll definitely be able to use this to kill them. Alright, let's see. And here I go. What in the world? They do too much damage, GE. There's no way I could kill that mob. I'm just gonna run in and quickly grab this piece of paper. Is it gonna work? Oh my goodness, run, run, run. And wow, I can't believe you actually did it, Bubbles. Yep, and now I know that the code is 1111. So let me put that in the door. And here we go. We're on to the next place. Let's go. Welcome to my dropper, Bubbles. Only one of these four waters is real. A dropper? I'm actually a pro at these. So this should be pretty easy. And here I go. Come on, let me just jump down here and what? Haha, <laughs> you really fell for it, Bubbles. But that leaves you with three more waters left. Dang, I can't believe I fell for one of your fake ones. Come on, the one in the top right has to be right. All right, let's see. Let me just jump and I did it. Let's go. There's no way you actually just made it, Bubbles, but whatever. Let's move on to the next level. And this is my jetpack obstacle course. What the heck? This looks absolutely insane. Yup, so open this chest and get your jetpack. Ooh, whoa, a real jetpack. I've always wanted one of these. Wow, and you look pretty cool with it on too. Of course I do, GE. But here I go. Time to get through these obstacles. And whoa, oh my god, this jetpack is so fast. Oh, look at me, GE. What in the world? You're going so fast, Bubbles. I can't even keep up with you. And there we go, GE. I made it to the diamond. All right, then I guess you can move on to the next stage then. Hey, what the heck? How am I supposed to move on to the next room if that's a fake one? Well, I hit a real exit somewhere in this room. So good luck, Bubbles. Well, where in the world could it even be? Wait, these blocks look a little suspicious up here. They're just sticking out. Uh, they and, are? And wait, I'm literally going through them. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the next stage, Bubbles. I'm so smart, but what is this? This is my go-kart course, and first you're gonna have to avoid all of the mines. Oh no, this looks really difficult. Come on, you got this, Bubbles. I just gotta take it super slow, super slow. Oh my goodness. And looks like I made it past, but what in the world is in front of me, GE? These are a ton of mutant skeletons, and the wall is about to drop, so good luck. Oh no, I'm gonna use my minigun. Ow! Quick, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him! Oh my, Bubbles, you're such a noob. You even destroyed some of the mines. I think I got it. Yeah, I guess you did, Bubbles, but you only destroyed the entire room in the process. Well, it's not my fault they were knocking me into the mines, GE. Whatever, Bubbles. Now you just have to make it past these sentry turrets. Oh no, sentry turrets? How am I supposed to make it past these? Ow, 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 it's hitting me, it's hitting me. Oh my goodness, it really got you there. What am I supposed to do here, GE? This is literally impossible to beat. I'll give you a hint, Bubbles. You have to break the blocks underneath. Break the blocks underneath? I guess I'll give it a try. GE, I can't break any of this. What are you talking about? Maybe there's a chest somewhere that can help you out. I don't see any chests around here, but I'm sure you probably used a secret chest, didn't you, GE? And look at this block over here. This looks very suspicious. Let me try opening it. And wait, I got another right pickaxe. Let's go. So now you can try making it to the end. Now I can just break the blocks underneath the sentries just like this. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh, you're getting them, Bubbles. Just two more to go. I'm so low, I'm so low. 
but I did it. Nice, and now you can move on to the next level. It's right under this slab. Under this slab? How do I fit in here? Well, today's your lucky day because I have a shrinking device. Ooh, a shrinking device. Let me grab this, and it's time to go small. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, we're so tiny, Bubbles. Whoa, we're so small, and I could fit under this slab. Let's go, and now you just have to make it past my tiny parkour. No way, a tiny parkour. Let me try doing this. Whoa, this is so cool, GE. Look at me go. All right, you already made it. Over here. Nice. And one more jump. Let's go. Wow, you finally made it past Bubbles, and now you're on to the final stage. What color are you choosing, blue or green? GE, you already know what color I'm gonna choose, so I'm gonna choose green. Wait, what? Just kidding. I would never choose green. That color is nasty. I'm going with blue. And what? What is this? No way, Bubbles. You just fell in my spikes. That was not cool, GE. Are you serious right now? Well, because the blue side obviously wasn't the right section, we can go on to the green side. Uh, fine. I'll go green. And what's in this chest? Whoa, that's so many diamond blocks. I'm rich. Yup, it's a ton of diamonds. Let's go. This is the best secret treasure ever. All right, Bubbles. Now that we went through each other's boxy boos, which one do you think is better? Well, taking a look at both of these, I believe that mine's is better. Well, I think mine is better. Wait, what? Then who has the better build? I guess we'll have to let the comments decide. Everyone comment Bubbles right now. No, everyone should definitely comment G. And if you enjoyed the video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to watch another one of our cool adventures, click one of the videos on screen right now. Bye. Bye. Are you serious right now, bro?